on to the beginning of the next project, I suppose, is making an arbor to go up onto the D-bit grinder for um, a cutoff wheel to try and put a groove into a drive roller for a MIG welder. So, I may have put the camera in the wrong spot there, just enough. Okay, so, effectively I need to make a bush that's about 20 millimetres ID to 22.45 or whatever the hole centre is on a disc like this. Uh, 22.24. 22.23 mil. Anyway, don't have any bar stock. That's much smaller in steel than, say, 50 mil. I need to get some more. But I do have this piece of square from an old project that didn't go right, so I will uh, use this aluminium square. It's only a bush. We'll make it out of alley. drilled it already, now we'll just uh, go in with a little bit of uh, about a 4mm drill bit as a pilot. suck it in, I mean it's a softer material. There we go. So we're fully engaged there now. So I'll just turn this off. What I like to do is Push the drill bit home. Let's go back to 
equal a measurable point. And I push the drill bit in until the quill reads a number you can read, which is that's 20 on the quill. So I need to go in about 16 mil. so when that reads 36 on the quill, we'll know the full depth of the drill bit. Um, at 20 mil, rather than just the, the cutting edges. It's going to be obviously deeper in, but it's the actual this part here, if you use my hands as an analogy, that part there and across is going to be the 20 mil. These cutting edges are obviously are going to be probably five or six mil deeper. And I didn't mean 20, it's going to be 20 diameter at full length of 16 millimeters what I need to go. straight from the drill bit or whether I need to bore it a little bit. So. That's not deep. Oh yeah it is. Yep. Yeah. Threads just. That'll be fine. Okay, so now I need to get the OD down to accept. Get a new one so it doesn't look so scruffy. To accept one of these type discs. Brand name, who cares? Uh, right, it's got to go on there. So, we've got to get down to 22.23. We'll get the guesstimators out. And what's that? 25.3. So, Meters off roughly a diameter. And we'll get out the micrometers, micrometer in a minute. Half a mil. Let's go 
this and that. Money shot, I reckon. There would be a certain variation of these things that have been stamped out, no doubt, so we probably don't want to make it overly tight. Okay, yes, so they all are pretty, so yeah, that's a bit tight, no, it's all going on. I'll never use that many wheels anyway, so that's good. Now I'll just part it off.
Okay, so the next part of this little project, got the arbor off the D-bit or universal grinder, made up our bush to accept 5 inch cutoff wheel which is 1.2 in diameter. Uh, we've got our nut in another part of the shed, that's great, but anyway. <laughs> nut goes on there but of course the nut's only going to tighten up onto the uh, onto the bush so um, the threads limited as in length because it's not designed for this small diameter of, um, thickness of wheel so I'm going to make up a big washer that's got to have a similar diameter to this uh, a hole in it to suit there and to be thick enough to come back here so that when the nut comes on it will press this big washer into here and hold this nice and flat. Bar stock I've got is this guy here. Already put it in the lathe. Diameter. Now I'm looking for to match this one. about 54 millimetres. This guy starting out is 60, so we're going to take a bit off. Determine the length um, I'm going to make it about 17 mil so we grab into some of those threads 17 or 18 mil That's 18 plus the width of the wheel. Yeah. All right, so we'll start this up and surface this back. Let's say 20. Then I'll cut it off in the, in the power hacksaw, no bandsaw. Um, throw it in the lathe. Surf, um, face it both ends and then drill it and then bore it. Got our hockey puck here, and we've got to drill it out, and then put a bigger drill through it to be 20 mil. Uh, face off the other end, get it to the right length, and that should be ready to go onto the, the universal grinder.
Okay, time for the 20 mil drill bit. So you see the chip's changed, not a full chip anymore. Put even more pressure on the quill, just so it doesn't drag the drill in. And we're through. Right now it needs to be bored out to 22.23 mil or to basically fit on this bush which we've already made. completed uh, arbor spacer bush set up for this cutoff wheel to be put into this T-bit grinder, universal grinder um, yeah I'm pretty happy with it seems to be running reasonably smooth um, next we'll be uh, making up a, another arbor to mount this drive roller in to then be able to offer it up to this wheel to put a bit bigger groove in. We'll see how it works. So I've got the little arbor that I've built. Works out well. Eight millimeters is the hole it needed to be, so I've got an eight mil collet to suit that uh, universal grinder. Goes on there nice. There's a little grub screw that holds this into the uh, shaft on the welding machine that it goes on. So what I want to do is come in 7.5mm, put a little drill hole in here for the location of the grub screw. First of all, I've got to uh, zero out our DRO to see where the end of this shaft is.
half the distance this little doodad here the uh, edge finder is six millimeters thick so we come in three millimeters zero it again that's right on the center there flat in there. Oh, I now need to get a centre drill. Pop a little centre in there. And then uh, drill a hole about four five mil diameter, four mil probably. Center drill might have just uh, done just about everything that I wanted. Let's try this. Of course, I'm prepared. Don't have the A. Allen key there. Not sure if this is going to work, but it's uh, trying to be a proof of concept.
Alright. Give myself a bit of welding wire and match it up. I reckon we can go deeper. I worked out the depth. Do have a different drive roll here from uh, one of my machines. I measured across. It'll be easy with this zoom. Measured across the diameter, and then I added the wire in the groove, and then measured the difference between the with the wire in the groove and with the wire out. That's 0.73 of a millimeter taller with the wire in it. So measure the diameter of this roller because it's a different diameter and I've added 0.73 and now I need to get this deep enough so this wire will go in here with the micrometer. Not quite enough so going in deeper. Yeah, it looks like I've got it. I don't know if there is or anything nasty on it. Just have to put it out into the field and try it. Now while um, I made my best efforts keep everything as true as possible. There's probably a little bit of play in slightly everything. And you can see where the sparks coming off it, it wasn't completely even all the way around. The deeper I would have gone in, the better it would have got, but um, this is only going on a, a drive system that the RPMs of this is 50 RPM maybe a minute, if you're lucky. So. The way the clutch mechanism works on welding machine type things is a spring that keeps it loaded down and so if you ever look at your own welding machine you'll probably find nothing is perfectly round and you may find as you're inching the wire through that the spring mechanism is just floating up and down a little bit. Um, so we'll see if this works, give it to the customer, give them a try it. If it works then um, We've created something that wasn't created by the original intended purpose of the machine. But the machine is well and truly capable of it.